Well, at least it's better than Paranormal Activity, the March ones. <laughs> The Quiet Ones. So The Quiet Ones is directed by John Pogue, and he's brought us such classics as Ghost Ship and Rollerball, which is at 3% on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. The movie also stars Sam Claflin and Jared Harris. So, yeah, I wasn't looking forward to this movie at all. It looked like a complete Exorcist ripoff, and, um, how is this movie? Guys, it's not very good. The biggest problem with this movie is that this movie didn't scare me, like, at all, like, in the slightest. I was just completely bored in this movie, and the way they try to scare you is doing fake jump scares. You know fake jump scares? It's like when, like, it's like building up all this tension, and then something just jumps on the screen, and it turns out it's like the friend. Just like... Oh, hey guys, sorry, I didn't see you there. That hurt this movie a lot because this movie is built as a horror movie and it's just not scary. I didn't hate this movie though and I really, I when I walked out of the film, it's pretty terrible. It really is really bad, but for some reason I didn't hate it. The reason why is because this year has been abysmal for movies. 2014 has been horrible so far, so I think I've just seen so many bad movies this year that it's just, it didn't really mean anything to me. But seriously, this movie, it's really bad. There are some things that aren't terrible about the movie, though. Like, the camera work is really, really well done in a lot of scenes. It uses James Wan's tactic, and it, like, zooms out while zooming in at the same time while the main character is walking down, like, this eerie hallway. It, it works pretty well. The acting wasn't too bad in this movie, either. I was expecting the acting to be terrible. It's actually pretty good from everyone. Sam Claflin does a really good job. It's just overall, the movie just did not hit the spot <laughs> at all. Just, wow. Every single character in this movie is completely invincible. They go through so much crap and then they're fine afterwards. Like this one girl gets attacked by the possessed girl in this movie. She gets basically her face punched in and then the next scene is her fine. She has no stitches whatsoever. She has no cuts, no bandages. She She's good. Another time is when this professor burns this girl's arm really badly to where you see like the skin like peeling off when she's being burned. Very next scene, she is completely fine. She has no bandages. There is not even a scratch on her arm. Like that, it's 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 unbelievable. I'm fine for a few jump scares in a movie, even fake jump scares. But when you overuse it, when there's not even a single scene that isn't a jump scare, it's it's too much. After the half an hour point of this movie, just turn your brain off because nothing makes sense. It starts getting really dumb, really stupid, really fast. And then the end of this movie was stupid. It, it honestly is one of the worst horror movie endings I've ever seen. It was really dumb. Just there's slow motion involved and it ends with this dude, the main dude, looking into a doorway and then a jump scare. This big like monster jumps out at you and it's the very end of the movie. Like really just um ugh. And I get this movie is low budget, but even if you're going to make special effects, you can make them better than a, what Adobe After Effects can do. This has some of the worst fire CGI I have ever seen in my entire life. And the fact that after two hours of watching the movie, I can't even remember a single thing about it, that doesn't help the case. Overall, I just, I didn't hate the movie, and I didn't think it was horrible overall. It was just, it was really bad. Overall, I might be a little nice on this movie because I walked out of the theater pissed and then I just forgot like 80% of the movie, I'm going to give The Quiet Ones a 3 out of 10. It, it really is really bad. Do not waste your time on this movie. It's just this big loud jump scare fest. There isn't a single scare in this movie that is not a jump scare. Overall, I might be a little nice on this movie because I walked out of the theater pissed and then I just forgot like 80% of the movie. I'm going to give The Quiet Ones a 3 out of 10. It, it really is really bad. Do not waste your time on this movie. It's just this big, loud jump scare fest. There isn't a single scare in this movie 
that is not a jump scare. So comment below and let me know if you're seeing the quiet ones, and if you've seen it, what did you think about it? I want to know how many people also just don't like this movie at all. Think that it's terrible. Thank you guys for watching. This is Pickle Link signing off.